A special thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com, such as K2 Whoop De Doo Boogaloo Rama Lama Ding Dong, Dharma Wheelies, Otter Poppers, It's My Milk in a Box, It's Leon Motherfucker, Phone Losers of America, Gobi, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find out how to donate or support us at immoralhole.com forward slash contribute. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Listen, this is your neighbor, Dwight. Oh, okay. You might have the wrong number. No, no, I got the right number. I got the right number. Listen, your the cl- your cloud it's it's shadowing my house all during no. the day. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Hi. You got yeah. You got that moving sales stuff. Yeah, I do. Uh, do you have any for? large? Do you have a large cabinet for sale, uh, like a a stand-up type large cabinet, or uh, you know, a cabinet cabinet that you would put like pots and pans and dishes in, and whatever? Yeah, yeah, like I do cover. actually. I do. I have a couple of them, as a matter of fact. Okay. I, yeah. I, do yeah. you have one that I? Could yeah, do you have one that I could fit inside and then masturbate in it? Do you have one no, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you climb inside, you can whack off all you want, but yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay. The other one's got to clean the glass up. Door. It's a honeypot number. H- hello? Hello. Hi. Hi, you've got the magazines for sale? Are yes. those movies? Yes. Uh, of what nature are they? I was reading the ad and I just wanted to be sure. What What do you mean? Where, where did you see the ad? Uh, I was looking uh, on Craigslist. And, uh, yeah, it said that you were selling some magazines and movies. Mm, I don't have it. I don't have anything on Craigslist. Are you, well, I, my memory's not so good, but I wrote it down here. Okay. So, um, of what? Yeah. So, what? What are they like? Are they in good condition? And you know what? What are they? The are you talking about the magazines or yeah the mag the magazines are in uh, excellent condition. They're adult oh. magazines. Right, right. So by excellent condition, do you mean they haven't been used or? I mean, they're when I say they're in they're in really really good condition. They they're the there's. Hardly any pages that have been wrinkled. They've been kept in a home where there wasn't any smoking either. They were just put in bags. And, okay, have uh, you checked? Have I checked okay. what? Yeah. That sounds good. Have you checked if any of the pages are sticking together? Anything like that? Yeah, no, are no the, pages are no pages are sticking together. Oh, that's good. So they were used primarily for educational purposes, then is what you're saying. Just like uh someone was reading them for the stories. Uh or maybe not even looking at them. I, I don't know. It was my father's. Yeah, it would be a sin to look at them, so yeah. I don't know. Satanic of the devil. Oh my god. No, Lord, I wasn't going to look at them. I was just asking. No. No, I wasn't. I was just going to practice reading. I wasn't going to look at the pictures. I will have the skin of a thousand pieces. No. 
I, I promise I was just I'm learning to read as a read this woman's soul. Uh okay. Uh you're gonna have to ask her for that yourself because I only have uh about thirty dollars. Excuse me, ma'am. Is it possible that I can have your soul, please, in a nice mason jar? With a pentagram on the lid. Are you sure there's no sticky pages? Because, I don't know, I've been saving up my allowance and I don't want sticky pages. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Hello? I, was, I was hunting you. I was calling you. I was hunting you. You know. Yeah. You you, you, you call back. Yeah, you call me, and I call back to see who it was. What are you hunting me for? Well, you got them items for sale, don't you? I've just got a tow bar. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. 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 Um, see, I'm I'm a man who wears, uh, you know, ladies' shoes, and my toes yeah. are really fucked up. And I was oh, wondering yeah. if I could get that get that toe bar to fix my toes, like kind of bend uh, them back I, into shape. I don't know. I think you need a sledgehammer. Who's that? Who's that calling in the back? Southburg, Tennessee. Southburg, Tennessee. Do what? I just missed a couple of phone calls from this number. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. What was you needing? I'll take two hundred for it. It's. Well, you take two hundred for. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a dang good one. It's five thousand one. Oh, you must have called the wrong person. Do what? I said you must have dialed the wrong number. I'm not understanding. It. One of our phones is cut down. Is it a what now? I said you must have dialed the wrong number or something. I, I, you okay. called my number two times a few minutes ago. Hello. Is it what? Hello? I, hello! I think I've got all typers. Excuse me? Have you got the old typers? <laughs> what was that? Yes, have you got the nappies, the typers, for sale? Oh, sure, yes. Oh, good, yes. I have a sheer watch for them. But what size is What was that? Oh, what's the size on I'm them? Having... Oh, the size. Yes. Um, they are extra large and large. Oh, good. How, how many have you got? I have about six bags, maybe eight. I'll have to look. Yes. All right. I have got a, the bedside potty chair. Yes, I have a potty yes. chair, um, oh, yes. a shower transfer chair. Oh, yes. Oh. And um, a hospital oh. bed, oh, a wheelchair, yes. and a roll lighter. Yes. 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 Let me put my phone on. Yes. Take the phone. Grandma. Here. Yes. Grandma, what are you doing in the bathroom? Uh, I'll rest the baby. No, wait. Excuse me? Yes. Grandma, Hello? you got to come out of there. Grandma, I have to use the bathroom. Yes. Oh, Hello? Who are you? Wait, are you on the other line with Grandma? Hello? Can you tell her to get out? Of, yeah, could you tell Grandma to get out of the bathroom? She's making noises in there. 
It sounds like she's on the line with you. Uh, I don't know, Grandma. Yeah. Who's this? Oh, God, this is Jack. I hear Grandma talking to somebody. Jack. Put it in there. Yeah, she's on the phone. Show me your vagina, Miriam. Show me your vagina. Is Grandma not allowed to talk on the phone? Well, she, lately she's been uh, Wait, she writing checks to swindlers yeah. who call the house. Write the double and double check, well, Miriam. So, you know, those... um, she is actually, she called me. Oh, I tried to I tried to put a password on the phone so she couldn't. But... Uh... Put it in there. Yeah, there was a, a preacher called the house and so, said that he needed a new Cadillac, and she wrote him a $30,000. Well, goodness, goodness. I mean, she's losing it. That's a lot of money. She won't, let me in the, she won't let me in the bathroom. So how are you talking on the same phone that she was on if she's locked the door? I picked up the extension. She's on the other on the other phone. We have the phone in the bathroom, you know, like they did in the eighties. She has this like no. old orange phone. She has this old orange phone next to the bath uh, to the toilet, and it's on the same line as yeah. the kitchen phone. Yeah. So she's on the toilet phone. So grandma wants to buy medical equipment. She does. Uh, well, I yeah. I froze all her accounts because she's she's spending way too much money. What are you trying to buy? Well, Grandma almost has Grandma's bank account. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me your bank account number, Miriam. The church needs it more than you. It's one of those scammers again. Give me your goddamn bank account. Bring me the rowdy number. Why did the scammer? How did the scammers get on the line? What is that? Read me your rowdy number, Miriam. I don't know. What is that? We played with the Ouija board, and now it's in our phone. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's, right. that's her grandson. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to block this number, man. Don't call me again. Shut up, bitch. Give me your account number now. Those Fuck scammers off. are persistent. <laughs> Satan I will does own it. your home. I will underwrite your home in the Satan's name. It'll become property of the Satanic Temple. No, Grandma. <laughs> I'm a member of the Satanic Temple. They're actually very good people in the community. Much better. Don't than you tell me. Don't you, don't you Satanic Temple so, explain to me, ma'am. So, I am the Almighty Ruler. Thing, yeah. Look, Satan, I have like Grandma's checkbook. She's not right anymore. Not check. in Satan. Are you so, trying to say you know. to me, ma'am? Well, Grandma gave $30,000 to the Mormons, and I'm trying to prevent her yeah. from giving more money. She. Well, you know, she's maybe some, call yeah. a lawyer. No, uh, lady, you're, lady, you're not part of the Satanic Temple. You're more like the Church of McDonald's. Sounds more like she's a fat. fucking Mormon. You fat. Yeah, right. yeah. You're fat. Okay, fuck off, you, kid. You need to go to the Church of oh, Look, Church we've, of the we've, gym. Look, he's um, he's got ADD. My gra uh, grandson. Uh, he doesn't talk no, like I that because he's so. a bad kid. He doesn't talk like that because he's a bad kid. It's because he's got the ADD. Yeah, fat ass. No, I think it's you. So fuck off. Find somebody. You're else so to fat. With, weirdo. Hi, thank you for calling Planet Fitness. This is Daniel. How can I help you? Hey, Daniel. What's the policy on the lunk alarm? The lunk alarm policy? Yeah, like Pretty why do you guys like, do that? Are you guys. Well, it's uh, it's not yes. automated, so it's just kind of whoever, whoever's up here at the time hits the button. Well, I don't fucking appreciate it. you guys did it on me earlier. Oh, I wasn't here. I don't know who was. What time did you come? Like three hours ago, dude. It fucking mess it messed with my head, dude. I don't even want to go back to the gym now. 
Oh, well, you can always come in to cancel your membership. So that's how you guys treat your members? You just fucking sound the alarm and then tell me, oh, well, fuck off? I mean, that's not what I'm saying. I don't recall everyone hitting the alarm today. Dude, you guys did it. I was getting my pump on, bro, and then you guys fucking hit it on me. I wasn't even doing anything. You guys just sounded it on me. It couldn't have been directed. I mean, it may have not been directed at you. I asked the person, and he's like, oh, because you're lifting too hard, bro. Person here? Yes. Are you, are you, is this so, uh, you went to the one off Lake Mead, right? My, uh, my girlfriend, Bappy, was with me, dude. She can fucking tell you. Hmm. Hold on, let's see, three hour, five Bappy. o'clock. Bappy! Bappy! Hold on, bro, I'm putting my hey, girlfriend on the Hey, it's me, phone. Bappy, what's up, bro? She's taking a shit right now. Ah, uh, no, it's me, Bappy. Oh. Oh. Hello? I don't oh, believe sorry. it. I don't believe you. Believe me? No. Most most gyms will fight tooth and nail to prevent you from ending your membership. I think you're a liar. Yeah, bro, what the hell's your problem? Are you just a customer there? You just grab the phone? Yeah, I don't think no, you really I work, work here. Cause I tried well, to cancel we, a membership well, at a gym, and he's like, oh, it's you know, Planet Fitness hey, policy, are you a I mean, it's in your like, contract oh, you that you smoker? sign when you signed up. So. He's like, oh, well, let's let's see how we can help you better afford your Planet Fitness membership. He's like, oh, do you smoke? Do you drink? Are there any vices you could cut back on to afford your Planet fitness membership i mean why what i don't understand is like i don't understand is like i told you and then you immediately were like well come cancel your membership yeah well, that's what you want to do it's i mean cool. you said you didn't want to come back to the gym i mean that's the only real option there for you i mean it's planet fitness well, power, but the alarm there. is sounded that's all I can really tell you. But no, it's not. No, it's not. There's no policy. That's why I'm asking. So you just sound it periodically throughout the day just to do it, just to get the fucking thing going or what? No. If I mean, if you're being, like, loud or whoever's up here deems it worthy, then we hit the button. Bro, I see people being loud all the time and the alarm doesn't go off. Yeah, well, I don't really hit it very often. I don't use it because I don't really. I think it's worse than actually, like, them grunting or anything. It's louder than anything. You think the alarm is worse? Okay, cool. So we're on the same yeah, page. We're I agree. on the same yeah, page. Everybody, everybody, we got to Everybody, we got what you admitted. Everybody, yeah. We got what you admitted. Woo. I think he wants you to leave the gym. That's why he wanted you to cancel. Like, he's probably he's, intimidated by me. I think that's what it is when he sees us lifting like 80 pounds. I mean, that's... It challenges his manhood in a deep way. How much can you bench, bro? 11 gyms. Um. Hello? 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 Hi, um, we're Hi, calling from um, the corporate office. You want to know if we can do a customer survey? Do a customer survey? It's two people speaking right now. Um, there's two people speaking around. Okay, one of you speak sorry? first. I'm so sorry. I can't really understand both of you okay, guys. Okay, one of you speak first. I'm sorry. I can't understand both of you guys. Excuse me? Who is that? Who is that? Hello? 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 Um. What is going what on? What is going on? Give me one second. Uh, give me one second. Uh, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Music of culture. My balls are very big. Come and kiss on them real quick. My big balls, my... Hello? 
Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. There must be something with the phone over I'm there. Sorry, there must be something with the phone over there. Uh, can you call our location one more time? Okay, you can you call location one more time on my number. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. How may I help you today? Hey, how are you doing? Um, hey, are you I'm doing? calling uh, from the corporate office, office and we just wanted to complete a customer survey, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? We wanted to complete a customer survey, me and Mike can join twin. Um, customer okay. survey. Huh? Um, so you'd have to do it online. I can't take any surveys over the, on the phone because I don't know how to do it on the computers here. No, no, you see what no, happens no, is what I'm happens calling from the corporate office. From the corporate office. We're here late. Um, we're, here we're trying to get a couple um, more surveys in before Veterans Day, Day before Veterans to see if there's actually Day. veterans that serve and, veterans and go to Planet Fitness. And go to Planet Fitness. Oh, okay. Um, actually, wouldn't be able to tell you that because when we when they come in, we don't ask if they're veterans because we don't give them any kind of discount. Well, well, no, 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 no. It's, no, no, no we're no, not no. asking. What happens is you pass the phone to a customer that's inside the gym, and I ask the questions. And if oh. they want to, if they agree to, yeah, if they agree to it, then they get a free upgrade from whatever membership that they have. Okay. If uh, they want to. If they don't have to. That's why I'm just calling your location. I'm just getting some out. I'm getting them done. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, scan the location to see if anybody mm -hmm. is willing to do it. Just give me a moment and I'll ask. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for calling Hello? Planet Fitness on West Charleston. This is Kaya. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Hello? Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? How can I how can I help you? Hey, how are you? Hi. Are you is this a customer? No, I'm a mem I'm uh I'm one of the staff. Okay, but who's the customer on the line right now? There's no customer yeah. online right now. I'm the customer. Hi, You're I'm a customer. customer. How can I help you? Okay, cool. Hello? Hello? Why did you yeah, need to um, speak with me? Yeah, so you're going to talk to the customer and complete the survey for us. Thanks. Hi, they said you needed my credit card number and repeat it loudly on the line with you. Hello? Thank you for calling Planet, Hello, thank you for calling Planet Fitness. As well as how can I help you today? Hello? Hello? hello, hello, sir. I'm in the locker room, and this old man here just keeps saying hello, and he has his cat in the locker room with with him. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, sir? Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, I will go check on that. Thank you. He, well, he's got many cats in here. They're all in his locker, and he. I told him that that, that can't be allowed. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Planet Fitness on West Charleston, this is Kaya. How can I help you? Is there a guy there I could talk to? It's something personal. Um, perhaps what can what what's going on? Well, since you insist on knowing, I was in the bathroom and I don't know if you know this, but there's a glory hole there. No. I'll have a male staff member go the, check it out. Well, let me tell. Let me talk to the, the male guy, please. Tell her she needs to go man her hole. Not gonna suck itself. Good. The male guy. I guess these days you gotta be specific. Axla. Oh. Good evening. You hey. are speaking on a fitness. How hey. can I help you? Hey, Dingle, how hey, are you? I'm in the fucking bathroom right now, dude, and this guy right here keeps shoving his dick through the fucking hole in the stall, dude. That's not I'll gonna right suck there. itself. Okay? He keeps fucking shoving it in my ear, dude. He's gonna come check on your dick mouth. Don't fucking look at my dick. Thank you for calling Planned Parenthood. Do you make them? We take them. How can I help you? What's up, baby? You trying to have a baby then, or what? Oh, man. Can I help you? Is there a guy there I could talk to? Something's happening, and I need to talk to a guy. A girl won't understand. 
Yeah. Uh, Kim. 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 He he wants to talk to you because a girl wouldn't understand what he's going through right now because he needs to talk to a guy. Hello? Bro, I'm right here in the bathroom, and I'm not kidding. There's a fucking glory hole here. I'm going to put the phone through the glory hole and listen to the sound. You hear them? You hear the fucking sounds, dude? This here? In Planet Fitness? Yeah. Dude, listen. I'm taking this shit, and this is happening in the stall next to me, bro. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right in there. Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get, I think oh, you're almost done, dude. You better hurry yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll be right there. Oh, hurry up, dude. Yeah. Don't make that boppy. Oh, oh. Thanks for calling Planet Fitness. This is Kellen. How can I help you? Hey, listen. Some there's two people taking up the stalls. I gotta take a shit here in the locker room, and they won't they won't pinch it off and give me a hand. Let me. I gotta go. Okay, sounds good. No, it doesn't sound good. I got liquid courage coming out of my ass, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. Ramon, Ramon. No, it's fucking Ramon again. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. My name is Mark. How may I help you? Oh. Hello? Hey. Hey, dude. I'm going to be real with you in a second, dude, but I'm right here in the bathroom, bro. I'm trying to be quiet. There's a fucking glory hole, dog. What? And I'm putting the phone. Here, look, dude. I'll put the phone next to it. Listen to what the fuck's going on. Can you hear them, bro? Can you hear them, bro? Yeah, yeah. Bro. Bro, can you fucking hear that shit? Calling <laughs> Planet Fitness, this is Winter. How may I help you? Hello? 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 Ma'am? Hey. Um. I was in the bathroom and I asked the person in the stall next to me for some toilet uh -huh. paper because I'm out and they uh -huh. said no so now I'm like stuck in here without any toilet paper because like my uh, stall mate wouldn't give me any in our restroom right now yeah I've um I mean he's still in the other stall and he says no, he has some paper but he just won't give it to me Okay, would you like one of us to come give you some toilet paper? I mean, yeah, but I think this guy needs a general lesson in sharing, you know? Okay, well, I I personally can't boss that man around, but I can go ask my coworker to bring you some toilet paper. Okay, can you make sure it's the soft kind? <laughs> we only have one kind, sir. Because I'm awfully sensitive down there, and I, I need the soft kind. Okay. Alex will be right in with some toilet paper for you. Okay. Hello you there? woke up without underwear on? Yes. Hello. I woke up with no underwear on. Oh, my goodness. It must be chilly. It is very chilly. Do you know where it went? I can't help you there. Were you here? Maybe... Maybe you were here. My I really is I'm sorry, your phone, it's breaking up. Have you inserted it into the wrong orifice? Uh, so you can speak up. Oh, God, it's gotten worse. My willy is chilly. My name is Chilly Willy. I'm froze through and through. My shaft is cold, and my... That eh, doesn't really work. My willy is chilly. I've got to give off the... Uh, mm, my yeah, willy it's is already chilly. happening because your connection is terrible, lady. 
You are being transferred to. You are I'm being transferred. I'm handing off to you. You can make more sense. For you are being How can I help you? Hello. Hi, how can I help you? This is Hampton in front desk. It's in Albans. Hi, I'm coming. I am coming to America. Okay. How can I help you with that? Uh, well, me and my uh, friend uh, need a place to stay in the America. Funny. Okay, I have to go. There's. Have well, a good night. No, I. Good evening. Thank you for calling the residence in Gloucester. This is Colleen. How can I help you? Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. I found a, a lottery ticket in my room, and it's actually a winning ticket. Um, do I get to keep it? Like, what should I do? I mean, if you have rented the room and it's your room, I, I do feel like finders keepers apply in that situation. I mean, I looked it up online and I think I'm owed almost like $3 million. So for that one, I, that's definitely not in my wheelhouse. That's a lottery commission question. Um, I, you've, I would check the state that you found this in and I would call them and see what they say. I found it here. What are you talking about? What state? So then I would call the Vermont State Lottery Commission. Okay, but no one's going to come after me, are they? Like say, oh, you found my ticket. I stayed in the room before you or anything like that. I don't know why they would. Well, I would. Like if I, if you know, because like the names of the lotto winners, they're public or something, right? So like, so I'm going to be like, it's oh. possible. But if that's something you're concerned about, you definitely could probably throw it out too without any harm or foul. It's it's one of those like it's really a not a, a hotel question. It's not something that I can really advise you on. I'm sorry. What if I paid you to to stay quiet about it? Like if they said, "Oh, do you do you have this guest in the room?" would be like, "Oh no, the room's been vacant for like six months." So. That would be considered a bribe, and I got to tell you that I would be really uncomfortable with that. But I, I can't foresee a reason why I would have that info, like why that would be questioned for me. But regardless, it's mm. really a personal decision on your end. What I would recommend, if you're really unsure of what to do, call the Vermont State Lottery Commission and speak with them. They'll be able to advise you a whole lot better than I would be. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just on the fence about this. I'm sorry. Um, is there anything hotel related that I can assist you with? I, I have some other guests I need to assist. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I might buy the hotel and then we could have a longer conversation about this whole thing. Sure. Uh, then it would be a hotel matter because I'd be like the owner of the hotel. Absolutely. Okay. All right, then. Is there nothing else I can assist you with? No, I mean, you made it clear that you don't want to help me, so I'll, I'll just know. This one I just can't help you with. If you had a hotel-specific question, yeah. I'd be more yeah. than happy to assist you. But with the lottery questions, I, I'm just not going to be a good authority. So I would recommend Vermont State Lotto Commission. They'll be the ones that will be able to answer your questions. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not 18. If so then you're not going to be able to cash it in, and there, there isn't too much. I'd just throw it out and forget the whole situation. But if, if there's nothing nah, hotel related no, that's that's that I can help it. you with, if, if there's can nothing I, like, hotel related you? that I can help you with, I, I'm sorry? You keep saying that. You keep saying that. I don't understand why you keep saying that. Because it's not hotel this is, related. It's not hotel related. Well, Sir, I have other work to do, and I, I, I am unable to assist oh, yeah, you with I this problem. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I could just, right. like, hire you to cash in the ticket. I, sir, work. I don't believe this conversation is going to go anywhere, so I am going to let you know. I'm sorry I have to hang up. I apologize. I hope you have a wonderful oh, okay. night. I wish you all the best of luck, but I'm, I have okay, other work bye -bye. I have to accomplish. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. I guess. This is Haley. How may I help you? Hey, Haley, how are you? How you won't at me? Wait, what the fuck? No. 
the operator. Good evening, friend. This is Ian. Hi, Ian. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Not bad. Listen, uh, is it busy down there at the front desk at this time of night or no? Uh, no, I'm the only one here. Well, All right, great. No one listen, listen you're, about, you're about to have a very busy night. Why is that? Well, I let myself into several rooms throughout the establishment, and I put a bunch of fake uh, winning scratch-off tickets with high-dollar win amounts. Uh, on people's beds and desks, and uh, I assume they're going to be calling to find out how they made it into their room, number one, and number two, what they should do about it. So if I were you, I would probably start prepping some type of answer for these guests. Okie dokie. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, you'll have to explain to them how I got into the room. Uh, how the items were left, and I did remove a few small items from their room, uh, not noticeable at first, but they will they will be known that, that they're missed. They'll be missed. And who is this? My name is Dwight, and I'm a scratch-off criminal. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you for calling Shutters Elko. This is Krista. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, you should congratulate me now as one of the guests of your establishment. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. While I was sitting on the uh, receptacle for the uh, the cheeks, as it is, uh, I was using a scratch off that I actually got from one of the gas stations. I stopped in to get a Bang Energy drink, and I got a scratch off ticket. And as I was sitting here uh, filing papers away in my office. I scratched it off there, and guess what? Fifty thousand. No, you did not. Yeah, fifty thousand. Uh uh, no way. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. And, but the, the thing is, I don't think they're gonna let me redeem it because I'm from I'm from out of state, and I think you oh, have to be a state resident to redeem it. No, you don't. I what? You don't. But but on the back, it's it said for the state for the state only, and I'm I'm from I'm from Washington. Uh-uh, nope. It, it's saying that you can redeem it in that state only, but you can live anywhere in the whole wide world. Okay, but you're talking about after I – I don't think 50000 is going to let me travel very far, I mean, to live in the anywhere in the world. No, no, no. I mean, you could come in from, like, Ghana, and you could travel on over to Idaho, and you can get a scratch. Oh, and you could cash it. Like you don't have to be a state I resident. Used, I used to like to travel to Bur to Burmese, Burmesa, Burmese. Oh, Burma. It's a party. Yeah, Bur no, no, Burmese. The Burma. Oh my God, no! I would never come back. I was like, wow, that doesn't there. seem like a very fun. Oh yeah, Ibiza. That's what it is. I Ibiza. It's a little party island oh, by off the coast of I I Italy. Italy. I yeah, know. yeah. And they say it's Ibiza. Um, but, <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what they oh, say, cool. but they're that's not American, so they, so they don't matter. But if I give you the ticket, can you redeem it for me? Can I redeem it for you? Well, we don't because have I have credit. I have I have a problem with creditors, and they'll take some out of it. Mm, no, I don't think I can do that. Why not? Because uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to it. avoid because 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 I got close to twenty one grand. In in uh -huh. in like defaulted loans, and so I I don't want to give those scavengers any of that money, and like and I can't get a bank account because I have bad credit. Oh, so do you need like my bank account number and? No 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 no. What is, do I do I sound like I'm from Nigeria? No 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 no. no. <laughs> I I like I give it to you and they give it to you in cash. Like I don't think it has to go on a bank account. But what but what I'm saying is like. If they asked me for a bank account, then the, I can't get one. Mm, and, you know, because I, I, I have pro I have problems because I invested highly in Pogs. You know what Pogs are? Um, no, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, they used to like back in the '90s. They they had the slammers and stuff. It was a big, um, 
uh, it was a big, it was a big thing. The, the like the, the pods and the slammers. I invested heavily into it. And I lo- I lost a lot of money. Then MTG came along and other like oh. card trading bullshit that I never paid attention to. Then Pokemon came around and everyone and everyone lost their minds. And so like when I tried to get my money, like I I tried to pull my money out of the investments. And then th- then like they said no, and then Bernie Madoff, and then like all of it, it was gone. Okay, so so why can't you cash your your lottery ticket then? Creditors. Creditors. So. Yeah, they they all want. Yeah, they'll they'll see it because I have to disclose my name because the lottery commission will make me disclose that I won that amount, and then they run a check for any outstanding debts. And then before I get, I see a red cent of it. They pull all outstanding debts right out of it. And before long, I probably owe the lottery commission because of taxes. Where did, where did you get the ticket from? Like where? It was, well, I went down to Shell. I got the one from Shell, but the winning one was sitting in my room. It was on my, I thought you guys put it in here for me as like a welcome. It was on my desk, like next to the TV remote. Oh, yeah, no, I mean. Nevada doesn't have- I came I I no I I came in and the the like I came in and the remote control I had left it on the bed but then it was on it was on the nightstand next to the bed when I came back in and there was a lottery ticket sitting right next sitting like right next to it and I was like oh that was nice and then I thought it was like you know the chocolate on the pillow type thing and then I was like, oh, I was like, well, I got to I gotta go evacuate the uh, the tunnel system, if you know what I mean. And so I was sitting yeah. there and I was scratching it with my lucky penny and, and 50000 That is wild. You know, I bet you, like, honestly, if you just went to a shell and came up to somebody random and you said, hey, buddy, I'll give you this much. If you cash it for me, then I'm sure they do it. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, well, I'll give like because it's all. Free. Do you know if they take taxes or how much taxes come out? Oh shoot! I know that you have the option. Um, again, like we don't have that lottery system, but you have the Cause, option. Because it said it said on the note next to it, it said it, it had a note and it said pay it forward, I, like to charity. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that if you're not the one that like left it. I'm not going to pay it for charity. Like charity starts at in in La Casa, you know what I'm saying? It starts in home. Casa. Yeah, so you Where's would that? have to like redeem that in a place, like I said, like Nevada. Okay. We don't we don't uh-huh. have that. So it would have to be redeemed by somebody in a Señor. state that does those. So like Idaho. Si, si señor. Uh, you you uh. You pick up lottery ticket, you find on floor. This, this guy has like a laundry cart, and he's at my door, and he's asking about the lottery ticket. You, I drop card, and you pick it up. It's mine. No, no. This lady says they left it for me. No, see, I, I was clean. I'm in I 215. Was clean. I was clean okay. room. I'm and in two, buy... 215. I'm in 215. He has chickens in this cleaning cart, ma'am. No, I see. I leave uh, a chicken yeah, in the room. Definitely don't have. Sir, sir, listen. Room. You need to take your little chick. Take your chicken I, cart and move it. Move it along. You're you're no no. This was a okay, non anyway. I, I, I went to the gas station. I leave uh-huh. the chickens behind in the car. I will get the winning ticket. And I lost it, and, and, and now, now you say you found. Ma'am, no, this man, mine. this man has unauthorized pets in the hotel. It's not pets; it's it's food. That's wild. Me, me. Um, me and my nighttime security are actually at room two fifteen. Uh huh. So I'm not seeing. Tell them to come that. in. Tell, tell tell them to come inside because he's in here with the cart. No, we, got a we don't, have a, don't have that tonight. My um, you don't security have what? person is right here at the desk with me. And also... You just, said they were, also you just said they were at my room. Also, 15 is not an occupied room. So you might... I'm might into, they moved they move me. They moved me. They moved me. They moved me from 211. Lady, he's not or, here legally. He stay in the room without the pay. He's a, oh yeah, no. Two eleven is not occupied. 
And has not been hospitalized. I like to kill deer. Look, you owe me fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I, 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 I would pay him, ma'am. He seems, he seems, he seems like a, no, ma'am. He seems like a serious man. Yeah, you you guys better get that figured out amongst yourselves. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma you, ma'am, you have to help me. He's he's got me a dick point. I, I have I have my cousin Pico here. Uh, Pico, he's he's crazy, man. Man, he's got me a dick point. He's got a, He's got his hard penis yeah, in the small of my back. He's threatening to go south. I need a manager, because she might be able to help no, a little better. There's no manager working that late at night. Don't kid yourself. Hi, this. Hi, this is Amanda. How can I help you? Hello, hello, sir. Uh, your person there seems I'm to think man. that you can handle this. I, I know you're a man. That's why I said, sir. Did they said that you would understand the situation better than she could? Okay, what is the situation? I don't know. She she won't explain it to me. You see, uh, man, you he us, stole sir? my lottery ticket. He stole my ticket. I, he was because in my room. I didn't it's steal not a ticket. lottery tickets. And I know this he, is got, a place he, of he got it from Idaho. He got it from Idaho. Okay, this is a place of business that you are calling, and this in a lottery ticket. This is a is, place of ill repute. There yeah. are people fucking in the other room, and you won't Excuse help me. Excuse me, sir. Do not do not use foul language over the phone. This is a place of business. I didn't say nothing about a chicken. Do you have I any further questions? You. Do you have any further questions? Yeah, well, yes or no? I have a question. I have questions. You have a okay. Where, what is the question, sir? I, where do babies come from? Where did they come? Hey, this is the front desk of Big Mountain. How can I help you? Hello. Yes, I, I've uh, arrived for my appointment. I'm in my room. I'm uh, in states of undress. I'm ready to be stretched. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. I made the I made the appointment through the website for, um, I, I guess it was under amenities, uh, and I'm ready to be stretched. Did you make a massage appointment? No, it said it said to it said please to disrobe down to undergarments, and then it said uh, call front desk and someone will be up shortly to stretch you. Is this a prank call? No, no, I'm I'm just trying to get stretched. I've had a very tense day. We cannot help you with that, sir. What What do you mean? I'm not I'm not understanding. I made the appointment. That is not an amenity we offer. Okay, what well, do you do? You do uh, you do housekeeping, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you do uh, room service? No. Okay, no room service. I understand that, but I paid through the app, and I've already been charged for the stretch. You can speak to an associate at the front desk or a manager tomorrow about that. But isn't is it, but isn't that you? You're an associate at the front desk. Yes, but I do not believe that is a service that we offer. But 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 then why is it on the app if it's not something that's offered? I mean, I'm I I followed directions. I'm not asking for anything more than what was promised, and I'm I'm just I just I'm I'm just trying to get stretched. I'm sorry, sir. I have no idea about that. We do have a massage center. That right. in in room amenities are not something that we offer. Yeah, it says right here on the app, full elongation, and that's what I signed up for. On an app? Yeah, on the app, it says it says the options for the for the stretch. It says it says full elongation, medium elongation, or no elongation, and I I said full. We also don't have an app, sir. There's an app, and then there's a machine over here. It's by the bed, and it says insert quarters to make the room vibrate. Thank you for calling the Fairfield by Marriott Waterbury Show. This is Morgan speaking. How may I assist you? 
Uh, there's oh, two men here oh, in the public yeah. bathroom. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, the background yeah. noise. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's them. Yeah. You hear them? Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. They're in here. Oh, Disgusting. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, 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 Disgusting. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. How can I help you? Oh, do you have a way to remove them? A way to what? Remove them from the premises for the behavior. There's children here, and they're doing ter- dirty things in the toilets here. What room are you in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! 215. I'm here with my son. We're visiting. Can you confirm the name on the room, please? Uh What was that? It's, it's, um, hi. I'm, I'm, um, dad has went to the bathroom. What did you want? The name on the room, please. Oh, um, you want our last name? Yes, it's, please. Um, yeah. It's Good morning, Julia. Me, Joe. Oh, that's Uncle. That's Uncle Joe. Um, I'm sorry. He's got rumble cuts. That's Uncle Joe. All the kangers. All the kangers. Uncle Joe is. No, Uncle Joe's watching the creature on TV. That's what's from Plus Waterbury. Hi, uh, I stayed at your hotel. Hello? And I'm a, I'm a live blog. Yeah, I stayed oh. at your hotel and I'm a live blogger. And um, after I posted a video of your hotel, I got demonetized. And I don't know, like, what do you got going on there that YouTube doesn't like? I have no idea. You can call back on Monday after 9 and speak to the manager. Thanks. This fucking guy owes you Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm a Montpelier. Hi. Um, it was, I'm a live blogger. I am a live blogger. I, like, uh, blog my travels and stuff. And I also unbox toys. I'm kind of a variety channel. And I stayed at your hotel, and that right after I posted the video, my whole channel got demonetized. Like, what is it about your place, like, that YouTube doesn't like? Like, I lost my livelihood. I think maybe, like, you could send a note to YouTube and tell them that you're going to clean up your act or something? Dish that, like, if I don't, like, I feel like I need to take a shit, that I will eat. Oh, here, and I've got to be sick of eating it on. Hey, Scott, how you doing there? You ever, uh, you got that one dish that's in your repertoire, so if you feel a little constipated, you know if you eat that within hours, you're going to end up taking a shit? What? Come on, Scott. Be honest. So, no, no, follow, follow me. So, like, let's say your stomach's a little bloated, and you're like, man, I'd feel a lot better if I went and visited the toilet. So, like, you know this one dish, like this one food that if you eat it within, like, 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to go take a shit. What is that for you? Is it Chipotle? Is it Taco Bell? Yeah, mine's a pizza bowl <laughs> with extra grease. Like, that, you got to get light sauce because of the sugar, but then you get a little pepperoni, you get bacon, you get jalapeno, you know, a little jalapeno kick, and uh, you get chicken, and then you throw some red pepper flakes on there and you eat it. And then it, what it happens is the, is the grease from the pepperoni and from the bacon, it lubes the tract, the, the anal tract, and then it just slides, it slides out. So what is that for you? I am trying to work here. I'm not trying to listen to this. Yep. Thank you well, very just, much. Well, just answer my... Well, you listened to it twice as I repeated it. Now... Oh, oh that's my pillow. Oh, my we pillow. Are, we already gave up on gyms. Yeah, well, well their name starts with a J, so they're stupid. J. Hello? Hello? How can I assist hey. you? Hello? 
Hello? Yeah. The, f- the fucking people next door, look. Listen to them. Well, if this is all tacky, uh, professional, I will, um, in a Emotional! Yeah. Hi, Trader State Hospital. Hey, um, can you get my name down? I want to get a room. Yeah, are you trying to make a reservation for tonight? Yeah, damn, you sound cute. Uh, yes, please, sorry. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, would you be checking in tonight and then checking out tomorrow morning? Yeah, I'm a pervert. I just I apologize. I just don't give a shit anymore. Um, yeah, I'll I for tonight and I'll check out on Sunday actually. Okay. Um, I don't know. Saying that to me, I feel like I feel like I just Just get my name. The reservation for you. Well, my name is just get my name down. First name is Howard. What's your name? Howard. Uh, Howard. Uh huh. What's your last name? These nuts gonna fit in your mouth. Howard, these oh! nuts gonna fit in your mouth. Got him. That's some bullshit. Thank you for calling the Element in downtown Bozeman. My name is Lauren. How may I help you this evening? So, what what flows from nature? Like, what element of your design in the hotel flows from nature? For for our name for element? Yeah, like the the whole thing in the beginning is like, oh, you know, we're I don't know, it's just a bunch of buzzwords oh, about we're... nature and design. Yeah, we're a long stay hotel, yeah. so we try our target guests are generally those. I think Marriott's target guests for Element hotels are those who are like active, go outside a lot. That's what kind of the element of our stay is with our guests. Oh, like, you mean the activists? Sure they, we have like bikes yeah. for rent. Yep, yeah. Oh, you have bikes for rent. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Or not are rent, they, but they're they, complimentary with the stay. Do they do they sanitize the seats and all that stuff? Yeah, the between riders. Is generally after yeah after oh, uses. Huh? So what you're saying is there's a certain kind of person that stays there that it appeals to. I would say yeah that it appeals to. Hmm. I mean, like uh, yuppies? Would you say yuppies? Or would you say, like, uh, well, no, the yuppies is a really old term. Like, uh, hipsters? No, I, I think it's Zoomers. just more of a general idea put into place, but it's not necessarily what, like, not everyone who stays here is going to be interested in the bikes or some of the outdoor elements to it. And then I know that most elements are lead certified buildings, so it just has to do more with, like, the amount of energy used inside the building. Hmm. See, what I'm most concerned about is I don't want to stay with any TikTokers or YouTubers or, you know, all those freaks. Yeah, I feel like overall, I I think that regardless of, I think a lot of people will be on social media regardless of where you're staying. It is a college town, so I I don't think it really makes a difference here versus there. Yeah, I just want to come out of my room in the morning and be like, hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go oh, get yeah, on some bikes. And... No, I don't think Bozeman's much like that. Oh, that's good. Those people, they're the scum of the earth. You know, it's like I can't even go anywhere and I got to be on somebody's YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And were you, you looking to saying? make a reservation or anything tonight with us? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just inquiring. I'm, I'm, I'm window shopping hotel. Okay. Did you have any okay. other questions yeah, about I, the hotel? Yeah. I heard an echo. Did you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like somebody else is on the line. Hey, person, are you? Is there somebody else on the line? I don't like being monitored. 
Hmm. Yeah, there's a van that's been following me around. Just wondering what they're up to. Hey, come on if you had any other questions, I'm more than happy to answer, but unfortunately. Hey, what um, do you got in the van? I am working right now, so I have. I, I am working right now. Yeah, a bunch of pillows so for you, man. Just come look in the van, man. Who operates the operator, though? Kim oh, I got an idea. Desk. Hey, uh, it's a uh, guy. I'm right here, and I put in the, the pillow. I, the guy, I take in the pillow, the guy in the next door. Hey man, give me back my fucking pillow. He's uh, he's uh, getting mad at me porque yo 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 me agarré la pinche pilo en su cuarto. Hey maricón, give me back my fucking pillow, man. He's uh, mad at me uh, right now. Here, he's taking the uh, pillow I, back. I see your number and I can report you on the police. So please fuck you. He, he can report you. <laughs> You fucking idiot, you come over here, I kick in your head, you son of a bitch. Viva la reparte. All right. I kick in the ass, are you? I kick in the ass, are you? Good. You take Good. my That's paper. Step. You Step. idiot, son of police. a bitch. Bye. Hey, no, you better not call the police, you son Licking an ass. Kim Tembosman at a front desk. I kick in an ass. And kick his fucking ass, bro. This guy's a fucking jerk. I kick in an ass. Kick in this okay. fucking ass. Every Did morning you, you come my ass. house, you steal, you steal my paper. Every morning you come my house. I Did see you. you. Stop I... calling on this number. Hey, 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 listen, my You're friend, my friend over here. Every, no, no, listen, every every morning he's going to get up, he's going to have eggs, he's going to have a nice Colombian coffee and a uh, chicken, chicken the ass. A kick in the ass? Are you, are you, are you? I don't think you? so. I'm you realize with who you're talking, so I advise Who, who is? Oh, it's it's Miguel. Is this Miguel? <laughs> it's a man in And who Miguel. are you? Guinness. I advise you. To stop calling on the, this number because you're gonna. I will stop end up calling there. if you stop stealing my paper and kicking okay, my Okay, and what are you going? What are you doing to me? What are you going to do to me, man? You ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. You He's a surprised. man with a creamy pillow. He's a man so with a creamy I, pillow. You don't do I nothing. Put, I will put your head on the pillow and you'll like it. Okay. Okay. You will fall asleep Bye. and the cream will come out of the pillow. I'll put your head on the pillow. You're going to go to sleep and I kiss you on your head. Okay. Have a good night, sir. Kiss me. Night. Kiss me. Kiss me. Bye. Kiss me. Head and ass. Lewis and Clark Motel in downtown Bozeman. This is Andre speaking. Look at my pillow, man. Hello? Hello? Hey, they took hey. my pillow. Yeah, do, do they know you're Superman? They took my they pillow, man. So we, Thanks for calling the Secretary of Hotel. This is Brad. How may I help you? Something about, you know, eating food, you know? Yeah, no, this guy knows the truth about John Bonnet Ramsey. I'm telling you, wait for him to pick up the phone. He's going to tell us all about it. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, Sweet. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what can I do for you guys? Oh, shit, there he is. That's the guy. That's that guy, yeah. Dallas. Dallas. <laughs> what you guys need? Dallas, come on. Dallas, how about John Bennett? Uh, what are you doing? Did you Dallas. make it back home? Yeah, yeah, but I dinged, the, I dinged the car. I hit a stop sign. I clipped it. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, was, I, cur I curbed this fucking thing. I made the right-hand turn, and I took the fucking light. What are you talking about? Where? The, the, right by the house. What are you talking about? Who are you? This is Brad at the Sacagawea. Who's this? Yeah, the, no, you know who this is. Come on, don't don't fuck around. I, yeah, is I it, is it Ivan, Ivan and fucking and Louie? Yeah. No, I, it's, it's, I'm, yeah, it's Louie. Uh, yeah, yeah, but listen, <laughs> hit, the, hit the fucking thing. Hit it. Hit it right real fucking hard. You hit what? What? The stop sign, do the pole for the stop sign? I clipped it. I clipped the fuck out of it. Out here at the sack? Yeah, buy it. <laughs> Which stop sign, bud? 
right here, like right next to the building. Why do you think there's only one? Well, that's why I'm asking you. What the fuck stuff are you talking about? What do you, you mean? What do you, I don't understand. No, I not just, that one. That, what do you think? Come, you stu come on. Don't be stupid. Are you talking about at your house? Yeah. You why? got me confused as shit. I was confused. Well, you know, I might have been. So when you got home, what you Louis? put the stuff Louis, get on. Hello, Louis, are you there? Hi. There. Uh, so I sorry. Heard. Yeah, yeah. L Louis's here. Louis. Yeah. Louis. Yeah. So how yeah. far away from you guys, or how far from, uh, away from each other do you live? Uh, we're like five minutes. Uh, oh, I thought you guys were in different towns. No, no, different area. It's weird because, like, I'm in one zip code, but he's in one zip code, and we're only five minutes apart. We're, like, right on the edge. Oh, okay. on so the you edge. guys knew each other before you guys came out here then? I yeah, I touched your penis once. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was I thought it was Louie when he started talking to begin with, or when he was talking about John Benet Ramsey. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, so how was the, how was the yeah. flight out? Out the where? Uh, for uh, going back home. Like we we went back home, but then he had toes. He had a toe problem. He stubbed his toe at, at when we we're in TSA, <laughs> and he he got pushed down. <laughs> I need the stitches, man. I'm bald, they gave you man. stitches for what? Yeah, the, when the TSA was searching his balls after he went through the <laughs> scan there, he they pulled his stitches. His stitches busted. Uh, are you still surfing? Surfing? Yeah, you still surf? I live in Montana. Hell no, I don't surf. Yeah. No, when they got those places, you go to like Kahar, like the indoor water parks, and they got surf. I have I have never done that in my life. If uh, I learn to why, surf, why I'm going to learn to surf in a place that it's that it's you know. What you're oh, why don't you like watching Point Break? I surf on snow, brother. I snowboard. No, no, no. No, oh, yeah, yeah. The white shit that's cold, not the not the other white shit. No, that's water. <laughs> no, that's water. <laughs> yeah, and it generally comes along with twenty degree weather and freezing balls. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna try to hit you guys up before you left on your uh, flights this afternoon so you could go out and shoot that gun. But uh, by the time I got to sleep finally and and then woke up, you guys were already in the air. We have our son here. Whoa. I love baby. <clears throat> yeah, we um we actually met up with some girl and I fucked her. <laughs> so who's the new voice? We met her. We met her at the Seven Eleven, dude. Her name's Chelsea. I bought her a pack of cigs. We were just kicking back, My and I told her, you know, it's straight up. I just told her straight up, like, you're hella cute. You should let me hit. She bent over right there in the car, bro. I reached around, right. put it right there. <laughs> I believe that when yeah. the shit turns purple and smells like a rainbow sherbet. <laughs> no, her shit was perfect, bro. It was all shaved and fucking nice. Wait, height, just like your butthole. Weird. Very weird. Yeah, bro. We're looking at you right now. Wave at us, dude. We're just looking at you right now. Wave at us. Turn around. Bullshit. Do you see us? Look. Do you see us? Look. Are you guys still fucking here? Turn around, uh, fool. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Are you actually still here? Yeah, dude, look. We're waving at you, fool. You ain't fucking waving at me, brother. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, where you at? Yeah, look over here. Hey, bend over and show us your panties. <laughs> where the fuck are you at? You ain't here. Bend over, fool. Look. <laughs> Bend over and take off your pants. 
No, I'm good. Just do it real quick. It'll be funny. Full, just take your pants off and show us your panties. My goddamn work phone, boys. What are you doing? They're just fucking over there, bro. Weird. I didn't get that vibe last night when you're not. <laughs> when uh, old Louie was trying to get with Amanda. Yeah, they're fucking right now. Actually, can you hear them? So I said, who, who's who's this one? Who, who am I talking to now, then? Yeah, it is, bro. They're doing it right now. Weird. Weird. Well, I got a guest that just came in. Talk I got to my... I, I got to deal with this. I'll be back. Oh. Uh... Okay. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, your line is terrible. Can you hear me? No, you're all good. I can hear you. Oh, good. Now you're loud and bright. And how's your night going? Pretty good. How about yours? Oh, it's going great. I have my family with me in the station wagon, and we're driving, and I'm a little tipsy. I'm not driving, though. All right. Family, get on the phone. Welcome this man into our we're home. Hello? Hey, hey. Hello? Hello. Are you looking to book a room? We're looking for a room to have sex in. Hold on. One moment. Because we're 12, and what is this? Hello? Is this a hotel Hello? that I can have sex in? Is that permitted in the hotel? Is sexual congress with um, no one? For me? Just a mirror. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck a grapefruit. <laughs> While staring into the mirror in the hotel room. Thank you for calling the Best Western Plotsby Plaza Inn. This is Rachel. How can I help you? Hey, uh, I want to get a room, please. Okay. So, we have rooms with two queen beds left for tonight. And then, were you a Best Western Rewards member? Two queens? I, you don't have any with just one bed anymore? We actually we do have one with a single king. We're just out of our single kings. We have one with our single queen. Okay, well I want to get that one. Um, do you get which? So, what's your policy on bringing guests? Um. We, I don't really think we. I'm sorry. I don't think we really have much of one. It, like, um. So were you? Let's see. The only policy we have is we can't have um. We can't have Butte residents staying in the room the whole night. What Butte? This you can't you can't talk to me in that language. I'm not from there. First of all, I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay. E explain yourself. So Butte, Montana residents. That's the town. Ah. Uh, fuck you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Bye. We fit. How many? In the how bed. many? How many can we fit? How many can we fit oh. in the bed? Oh. Please give us a call back. We need to know how many we can fit in the room and how many we can fit in the bed. It's of utmost importance that you give us a call back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Tonight, and then we're gonna Thank you for calling Hello? Fairmont Hot Springs. This is Regina. How may I help you? Hi, is this the Hot Flashes Resort? My grandmother's here. 
and she is having hot flashes. She told me to give her give you guys a call, see if you have any openings. Hey, let me put her on the phone. Miriam, Grandma, Mom. Here, take the phone. What's up? What's up, Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes. Hello. Is this a hot flashes? I'm having hot flashes again, dear. Yes, I'm in the room. Yes, I'm in the room and I'm having hot flashes. Yes, yes. Uh, do you know what room you're in? Yes, I'm in the loo. And I'm making a doo doo in the loo. A little poo in the loo. It's right there. Grandma, oh, no. God. Grandma, oh. put your fucking clothes back on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do you oh, happen God to know what room damn it. he's in? Oh. Oh. Put the fucking oh. clothes... I'm sorry, excuse me, who is this? Uh, do you happen to know what room she's in? She's in the bathroom. Uh, which, uh, on the lobby floor? She's in the bathroom right now. Can't you hear her? I think she's... Yeah. I don't so, I mean, know what, what room are you in? Because I'm a licensed CMT. Here, I'll give you the phone. I'll give her back the phone. I I don't want to deal with this right now. Yes. Thanks for calling Fairmont Hot Springs, Mrs. Amy. How may I help you? Yes, hello. <laughs> so she's in the bathroom at our house. Sorry. Well, we can't help you with that. Please stop calling here. Thank you. Four to Tony and Connor. This is Connor. Yeah, the hey, my happen. my grandma's in the bathroom right now, dude. Um, okay. Can you can you hear her? What is in there? What is in there? Hello. No, not really. Do you guys do you guys have like an extra key to unlock the door? Cause she locked herself in there, and I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Front desk. Yeah. Huh? We have extra keys at the front desk. We have extra No, keys like a key for the bathroom full. I got a room key. I'm talking about a key to get inside the bathroom because she's locked herself in there and I got to take a shit. Um, I don't know that we do. I think we I'll have to take a shit down. Yes. If if you need, there's a bathroom down here in the lobby. If you need, there's a bathroom down here in the lobby. Yeah, I might actually go take a I shit over there, go but. Take a shit over there, but. But how do I, I get her out of our shitter? Out of our shitter. Uh, couldn't tell you. You want to come help me break the fucking door down, dude, before she shits all over the place? I'm shitting Not everywhere. Yes. Huh? Not oh. necessarily. Oh, oh man, dude. She usually takes outrageous dumps, dude. Oh. Um I I don't know. I think you just have to wait that one out. Oh. Can you hear it? She's going now. Can you hear her, dude? It's she's going now. Cannot. Uh, one oh. second. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. It's coming out. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, Lord. Miriam, I really hope you're getting it all in the toilet this time. I saw it over the floor. God damn it, you dirty bitch. I saw it in the floor. Yes, you I made it all in the Dirty. I made it. Bastard. <laughs> you sick I fucking I bastard. I you're sick. You're I sick. Yeah. You're fucking sick, fuck. Hello? 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 Oh, I'm coming out now, dear. Come out, baby. Yes. 
I first thinking that don't go in there for a time. I p put the tea on and perhaps after a half past the hour is the time. Where are my clothes, dear? What have you done with the clothes? Yes. Yes. Where are my nappies? It's very cold in here, dear. And it's getting a bit nippy. I don't have my clothing. My fresh fish. Where's my shirt? What? What's happened to my wardrobe? Hello? Is anyone there? Evening, 7-Eleven. Hey, what's up, bro? can I do for you? Do you guys have uh, liquid death water? Uh, no. Uh, do you have the alkaline pH 7-Eleven water? I don't know. The, I, the pure ionized 7-Eleven water? I don't think so. I'm looking. Yeah, man. No, just the uh, seven okay, select purified good. waters. Oh, my God. Do you have Essentia waters? Which one? Essential? Essentia. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> that it? Gotta go? What about your, what about your, what about your mama? Is she there? Bro, probably at home. He's a big Indian guy, right? No. Well, fuck him and fuck you too, then, dude. All right, have a good day. Hi, I'm here Hello. with my brother. We're having trouble finding an item. We're here. Do you have the items? Do we have what? The item, the water, the waters from the 7-Eleven, the antibiotic water. Yes, we have the water. The ionized alkaline. Yeah, alkaline battery water. Right. Alkaline, yes, we have that water. Okay, and I what can a, pour that what about my, my GPS. I'm sorry. I'll put my brother on. He might know what I'm talking so about here, sir. I'm sorry. I can't hear you clearly. Hello. Hello. Hey, how about you get a get fucking, fucking bottle of your mom's chocolate? 7-Eleven. I don't want to touch 7-Eleven, but I want to eat 7-Eleven. Are you Hello. open for foodings? Hello, food person. Yes. Hi, you're open? Yes. Okay, look. Oh, fuck. This is Haley. How may I help you? Are you gone tonight? I'm sorry? Are you gone tonight? Blown at me? Are you going tonight? No. Where is it? <laughs> Hello. Hello? Excuse me? Um, I got a call last night on this number about a wheeled deer stand. Who are you? Jason. What? 